Hi, everybody. Welcome to Parry's Cyber Tales. I'm going to read you the story about Little Red Riding Hood. You may think you know the story, but this one's a little different. Bring up your chairs, sit down and get comfortable. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was very cyber savvy. She visited her favorite websites, texted her friends on her cell phone, played mobile games, and used her webcam to chat with her friends and her family members. Whenever she went out, she wore an old-fashioned red riding cloak, so everyone in the neighborhood called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, she asked her mom if she could go into the backyard and use her laptop on her mom's wireless network. She wanted to video chat with her grandmother because it had been a while since they'd last connected. That's a great idea, her mom said. So they packed Red Riding Hood's laptop in a basket along with some juice and cookies to take into the backyard for a picnic video chat. When the basket was ready, the little girl put on her cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. Remember, don't leave our yard, her mom cautioned. Don't go on any strange websites and don't talk to strangers. The internet can be dangerous if you're not careful. Chill, Mom. I'll be careful, said Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood made her way to her favorite spot in the backyard, right under her favorite tree. She poked a straw in her juice box and fired up her computer. Within seconds, she was online and talking into her webcam. There was a little glare on the screen, even in the shade. Grandma, she said, are you there? The laptop monitor flickered, and an odd-looking image popped up on the screen. Other than that special shade of lipstick her grandma always wore, and her red plastic hoop earrings to match, and other than her old reading glasses and sleep cap with the little blue bows, it didn't look at all like her grandma. It looked more like an overdressed and hungry wolf looking for his next meal. But Little Red Riding Hood blamed it on the sunlight distorting the image on her laptop monitor. <coughs> yes, I'm here, replies the creature on the webcam screen in a raspy voice as he moved more deeply into the shadows. Grandma, asked Little Red Riding Hood, your voice sounds funny. Is there something wrong with the mic I sent you? <coughs> oh, I just have a touch of a cold, replies the wolf adding a cough to stress the point. But Grandma, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood as she edged closer to the monitor. The better to hear you with, my dear, replied the wolf, and to be able to wear big red hoop earrings. He then wiggled his ears to emphasize the point. But Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf. But Grandma, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood, her voice reflecting her nervousness. Somehow this sounded very familiar. She had heard this conversation somewhere before, maybe in a fairy tale? The better to... <clears throat> the wolf hesitated while he searched for an answer. <clears throat> the better to smile with, said the wolf. We are getting pictures taken after all, the wolf smiles expectantly. Pictures, said Little Red Riding Hood. Mom didn't say anything about pictures. That's because they're a surprise for her, said the wolf. We're going to take some grandma and granddaughter pictures for her desk. Meet me at the photo studio tonight so we can get our pictures <coughs> taken and give her a big surprise. Both the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood smiled at this each for their own special reason. The wolf chuckled to himself that he had come up with such a smart way to trick Little Red Riding Hood into meeting him offline. Her mom would get a surprise all right, and so would Little Red Riding Hood. Sure, Graham, replied Little Red Riding Hood. Anything for you. Little Red Riding Hood smiled for another reason, one she wouldn't share. She clicked the capture screen button, catching the wolf's big grandma smile, and signed off. The wolf quickly logged off, too, whistling while he prepared for the face-to-face -face meeting. The photo studio was dark, and Little Red Riding Hood listened carefully for signs of the strange-looking grandma. Hello, Graham, asked the little girl. Are you here? Is anyone there? Ha, 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 
chuckled the wolf as he tied his checkered napkin around his neck. I love having my meals delivered. The wolf leaped from the shadows with a fork in one hand and a knife in the other and began to chase the screaming girl. She ran across the parking lot and shouted, Now! Police spotlights turned on, all pointed at the wolf. Gotcha! As the police officer grabbed the wolf, cuffed him, and threw him in the police car. Thanks, Officer Blakely. Those cyber safety classes you gave us sure helped. I remember seeing those cartoons Wired Safety did, showing us how you never know who someone really is when they're online. The earrings and sleep cap were a dead giveaway, she said, smiling broadly. Grandma would never wear red earrings and a blue cap. She has much more style than that. And she gave up her reading glasses for contacts two years ago. The police officer laughed, looking at the image of the wolf in Grandma's clothing that Little Red Riding Hood had printed from the screen before she logged off. And don't worry, we found your grandma. Is she okay, asked Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, the earrings and clothes the wolf had, he stole from your grandma's stuff to be given to charity bag on her back porch, said the police officer. And when I reached her, she emailed me this picture. The police officer showed Little Red Riding Hood the picture her grandmother had sent. Way to go, Grandma, said the girl who felt much better now. The police officer and Little Red Riding Hood laughed at the picture as it was of her grandma surfing the waves on a beach in Hawaii.